Five, four, three, two, one. Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And thank you all for following us with our updates on USS Sullivan's. And we're very confident that she'll be righted soon. So please subscribe, ring the bell, and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks very much. So, uh, viewers and subscribers, how are you today? Uh, this main switchboard in aft engine room has really been on my mind quite a bit. <laughs> uh, as you can imagine, in the aft engine room, which is where we are, the main switchboard with the DC and AC generator, turbo generator right here and here, uh, was fully submerged in product water, oily uh, water. Uh, and you can see some of the, some of what I'm talking about here. There's a panel door right here. Huh. Okay, so this was the main bus feed. Not an electrician, everybody, just forgive me. So this was tied into the switchboard in the forward engine room with the bus ties. Again, you can see not been cleaned. Here's the plastic. So when Miller Environmental was cleaning this space, we said this is a pretty delicate uh, panel. So they covered it with the plastic sheeting and just left it, which was the plan. So it's not, it's not like they left it unintentionally. It was the plan to leave it, and then our staff would get down here and do it. So the first thing that I've been working on, let's see. I'm going to zoom out a little bit is removing the face plates. So we have the, synchro the synchroscope, volt generator, ammeter, watt meter, generator, power factor generator in total, and frequency meter, uh, generator, and, and generator bus. So I am placing these face plates in these basins and then I'm labeling the basin with the face plates like you see here and the screws that came with it. All right, and then these basins will be submerged in distilled water with a gentle cleaner and that's the first step. I, I These were filled with water uh, so there might even still be some water down there or at least yeah just some settled water with some product. So removing the face plates uh, the needles, uh, they don't really move as they should, and you can certainly see some degradation here, some rusting. So, being a National Historic Landmark, my goal is to bring power back to the ship using her switchboard. So what we would do is we'd run power from the shore into this board through the bus ties. It would then send it to the forward uh, switchboard. And uh, there's also discussions about just bringing new power system on board. I say, holy moly, okay, hold on here. We need to exhaust these switchboards on board. National Historic Landmark, this is how we did it up until April 13th, for the 45 years up until April 13th of this year. And I feel like we should 
do it again. So I have a few more of these face plates to go. Let the water, let the water drain out. I've tried to label them. My pen is getting caught in the grease and it's smearing, but at least we know. And look at that, see? We got some leakage right out of this one. I haven't even opened it yet. Volt meter, 120 volt DC bus tie feeder. And then we got those two up there. Obviously these open. Someone will have to explain this to me. I cannot. Can't even tell how much degradation is here. The insulated wires. Again, I wasn't in here prior to uh, the Sullivan sinking, so I don't know, but um, this is why we're working closely with Barry from the Slater. We've, had, we've been in talks with other electrical engineers, because uh, my goal would be to bring all the power back through the switchboard again, and not have a new source of power constructed on board. To me, that just kind of takes away her uh, historical integrity a little bit. A lot of bit. So, that's where we're at right now. This is the sweat portion of the blood, sweat, and tears that I have left on the ship. And those that came before me, and those that are currently here. It's not too cool down here. So I hope you enjoyed this update. If you have any comments, leave any comments. Um, if you see something that is interesting and you understand it, uh, oh Shane, check the synchronizing lamp, something's going on with those. That sort of thing. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment. And uh, we'll continue working on this. And finally, just kind of to wrap up, when people say, when will the Sullivans be tourable again? Well, it all depends on the switchboard. If we can get this, uh, if we can get this working again, uh, we might be looking at a year, all right? Uh, and that's really kind of the thing that, along with other factors, but this would be the main factor of why it might take a year, year and a half, two years to let people back on board throughout the ship because I want to do this right. And what does that mean? I'm not an electrician, but I want to be there in those conversations to make sure that it goes right. So we'll see you again soon. Thanks for all your support as always. Um, blinded by the light. <laughs> Thanks everyone. See you soon.